episode I'm going to be teaching you how to make another boa this time using gathering so this is a little more complicated than our last bow episode in which we used absolutely no sewing skills at all so if you want to try something a little easier and if you haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out now this is the boa that we're making today so basically all you're going to need for this project is some tool you're going to need a piece of ribbon in a matching color you're going to need thread your sewing machine, scissors, or a rotary cutter. You theoretically could do this project without the use of a sewing machine by doing your gathering by hand and by stitching onto the ribbon by hand, but it is going to take you much, much longer. But that's okay. Maybe you like tedious work like I do. I mentioned in my last video that tulle is a very affordable material. You can get it for $3 without a coupon at Joann's, or you can get it for as low as 10 or 20 cents a yard if you have access to a wholesale market or are close to the LA Fashion District, or maybe a fashion district in your city. Um, I love this material because you're able to make something that looks expensive and glamorous with a cheap material just by using lots and lots of it. So, this is a great starter project for your glamour closet because it's not going to take a ton of time investment and it's not going to take a ton of material investment. So let's grab our materials and get started. You need 10 yards of 60 inch wide tool. Take your tool and fold it three times lengthwise so that you have eight layers. Once you've smoothed out all of your folds, Take some pins and pin it on the most recently folded edge, about every foot or foot and a half, to keep your fabric stable while you're doing your gathering. Once you have your fabric totally pinned, you're going to use either your scissors or your rotary cutter to cut the other side, that's the unpinned side, and you're just going to trim off the edges to cut off the folds and also to make everything an even length. For the sake of preventing your own frustration later on, you are really going to want to have as full a bobbin as possible and have a ton of thread. Um, I beg you to use a matching thread color if possible this is a mistake that I make all the time when I'm feeling really lazy. Um, tool is a sheer fabric and it will show through. And if you use the same color, it's gonna, it's gonna hide a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot more forgiving uh, than say using red or black <laughs> on a gray boa. So I'm just gonna get this bobbin full and then I'm gonna show you the most efficient delightful way to do gathering on tool. The other thing that you're going to need for this is fishing line. We use fishing line for this because it is slippery and what we're going to do for this process, rather than what you would normally do in gathering, which is two parallel lines uh, with a long running stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to do a big zigzag stitch over this fishing line with the fishing line in the center and that way at the end when we finish our stitching we're just gonna pull it through and it's gonna gather like magic it's very satisfying so get yourself some fishing line uh, this is 15 pound 840 yards and it probably costs like five bucks so um, I love this material I use it constantly okay now that your bobbin is full you're going to place your fabric under your presser foot Take a strip of that fishing line and get it lined up with the center of your presser foot. And then using a very wide, very long zigzag stitch, you're gonna go ahead and sew directly over that piece of fishing line, trying to keep it in the center as much as possible. And remember, don't sew over pins. You don't wanna put your eye out.
Fast forward to when you have your 10 yards zigzagged. Now you can do the fun part, which is just pulling that piece of fishing line and magically gathering it all up. Because that fishing line is very slippery, it's just going to easily slide um, through those zigzags. And you're just gonna have to take your time slowly pushing those layers until you get your boa to the length that you'd like it to be at the end. So now I've got it all about evenly gathered. I just took my ribbon and then I extended my arms all the way out and just went a little bit past that to decide how long I wanted my boa to be. I'm about 5'4", so this ended up being two yards or about six feet. So I put a little bit of a loop at the end of my strip of ribbon, uh, just in case I want to put some elastic there to tie this to my wrists or something later. Uh, and then you're going to pin your first pin into the ribbon. And I do this trick where you sort of anchor your fishing line onto the end by almost as if you're tying a boat to a dock by doing a little figure eight. Looks kind of like that. And that's gonna keep your fishing line from shifting around when you have all these really tight gathers on it. So after you've done that, just go ahead and pin it down. I really love working with tool because I actually enjoy activities that are um, tedious and monotonous. Um, so even though this is a really easy project, and this is definitely a one day project, if you want it to be, uh, it's, it's, you, you gotta have a little bit of patience. <laughs> Um, and the more patient and meticulous you are, the cleaner the end result is going to be, but it's actually also going to be fine if you kind of just like rush it and slap it together, because it's at the end of the day a big fluffy piece of elegance, and I do like my elegance with a little grit in it, so it's, it's alright to just not be meticulous. I, for one, though, I, I get into it. I like the sort of like quiet, meditative quality of sewing. Um, Cause really when I'm doing this kind of stuff, I just become a robot and my mind just wanders. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm on another planet. Um, Another tip um, for doing this that's really going to help you a lot is this, because it's just stitched over one single piece of line, the, the fabric is going to want to roll this way and that, like it's doing over here. So as you go, the first thing that you should do before you pin it down is just straighten out the fabric. So just make it lie all going in one direction for now. Now that you've got it all pinned down, it is time to do the final sewing. Now this is the really, really fun part where you get to peel those layers apart, pull it out, and like magic, you start to form the layers, the, the big beautiful layers of your boa.
fluff it up and you are done. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you can catch more future episodes of me talking about how to sew, how to craft, and hopefully how to have fun while doing it. Thanks again! Thank you.